is happening guys welcome back to another reaction we're checking out the sugar rush ride music video by txt i'm very very excited i'm recording this on a friday but i i really hope that i'll manage to edit at least the music video reaction on friday if not this will probably make it uh your way on a saturday but i am super super excited based off the teasers the trailers everything that we've seen and plus over the last couple of uh, the last week with getting into TXT with the spotlight reaction I'm super hyped I love these guys's energy I love their storytelling I, I love their acting and the music on top of it all it's just like the cherry on top really uh or I kind of mixed up the priorities a little bit but you know they're fucking great so without further ado sugar rush ride we'll be checking out the music video first trying not to pause too much throughout the first reaction then have bit of a first impression i guess and then have a second reaction and that's when we'll start kind of pausing and talk a little bit about some of the stuff that happened in the music video and kind of i'll give my two cents on the meanings and whatnot as uh this this music video obviously peter pan and neverland and all that kind of stuff has been mentioned quite a bit uh so i'm i'm very very excited to get into this one so without further ado if you guys enjoyed this content make sure to like this video subscribe to the channel and let's go Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, those vocals. The devil said. Give me, give me more. Give me, give me more. Oh, chills. Holy shit. Literal chills. Goosebumps. Oh. Don't look at me. Damn, Stop breathing so heavily. Oh my god. holy shit okay before we talk about this music video let's actually take it back because that was a lot to process that 
that the, I'm not even talking about the visuals. This was a stunning video. The cor- the the cinematography, their their acting is incredible. The song itself, though, is a f- freaking experience of ups and downs. And if we're talking about freaking temptations, and we're talking about like it. In the preview reaction, the teasers reactions, I talked about how they're pretty much like addicts uh, by this point, and they feel that sugar rush and they cannot resist it. The more you have of something, the more you want it, and when you don't have it anymore, you go crazy. This feels like they are pretty much putting the viewer in the shoes of the addict, basically, uh, and making you have a taste of that medicine because this song is incredibly addicting and some of the vocals from the the free chorus almost feels eternal it almost feels it, it legitimately feels like i'm in a state of euphoria and then that whisper and then the anti-drop and then the chorus progression. This song is trippy as hell. Let's think about it. Yeah. Ah. Hey. Let's go. When you get It's almost like the equivalent of if this place is almost like Neverland, if this is like the magical place, they're pretty much addicted addicted to it and they cannot escape because there's things about it that make them want to stay instead of facing the, the harsh reality. If we're taking it through like some of the uh, some of the meanings of previous music videos like Runaway and even like Crown and then even with something like uh, Can't You See Me, like the parts of the music video where they're having all of those food fights and whatnot before the realization that something dark and creepy is happening as my friends don't know me anymore. Um, it's like that state of, uh, of forced happiness here. It's almost like an addiction to the happy place. And there are things within the beauty of this island that make me more and more addicted to it. But this place is not necessarily real and we need to go away which is why we have that boat but even the ending of the music video there was something sneaky about the facial expressions which it's almost like uh the intent is to go and say farewell to this place but will they actually do it because literally the lyrics say i cannot resist it i feel it and i can't resist it so are they able to resist it in the end like this music video is almost like a representation of what it's like to to fall into like a habit, to fall into an addiction. Uh, and it's not necessarily like drug related, but it's just a, an addiction of staying in the world, which makes you safe. But that world kind of like becomes the trap, which is like kind of like the consequences of living in a magical, in that magical place as TXT do. When in reality, you have to face those fears as well. So it's there, there's like a state of euphoria. There's a state of zen there's a state of trance and then there's a state of basically like it almost feels like uh, a bit of a relapse this is fucking beautiful the devil said the sporadic sporadic chaotic acting as the facial expressions go all over the place 
which is something that we've touched on with the the frost performance video like almost like having like this uh split personality disorder every every one of your personalities is almost like popping up to say hi for like a f single second or millisecond it's really really crazy the devil said <sighs> damn give me, give me more. The addiction is to the place, right? Not to something specific within that place. Like we see the lizard, the flowers, and all that, but it's the place itself. The days is like anemia. Okay, this is really, really interesting because they say the days is like anem anemia, anemia, uh, which is a form of, you know, not, not having enough. Uh, Red blood cells, if I'm not mistaken. Anemia is a condition in which the body does not have enough healthy red blood cells. Uh, and one of the symptoms is fatigue and weakness, pale or yellower skin, uh, and shortness of breath, chest pain. Like, this is really, really interesting uh, analogy and uh, a, a really interesting way of kind of like explaining what it's like to have that sugar rush and like the effects of the the aftermath of the sugar rush and feeling like you're weak as hell and just uh, completely out of out of strength and also the way Yuning Kai delivers the full of sweets line and just in general this verse right here that he delivered there was something extra behind it uh like like he, he it feels like a true a truly addicted person is delivering those lines like i i don't know how to explain it like there there's a level of uh drama within the delivery of of those uh of those lines that is really really uh unique <laughs> Every cell, yeah. Yeah. And the butterflies that were so beautiful in the first place are the ones that are hunting you. And plus we have like, dude, do you really need honey with all of that glitter? I mean, you, you know, you, ah, Jesus, these guys are not here to, uh, to play nice. I love these visuals as he's levitating almost like a state of euphoria. It's like this is aside from the uh, the anti drop, this is one of my favorite parts from this song. Like the vocals here are absolutely mesmerizing and to top it with the visual of levitating, like this song literally literally pulls you up and then it slams you the fuck down and then it kind of makes you feel like it's okay and let's do that again and it just keeps on hammering you down this island is as as much of a nightmare as it is a tree it fits incredibly well within uh their storyline because uh you know you try to escape to a place that would feel safe and even the safest places can feel like hell if you are not equipped with dealing with the stuff uh that made you run away in the first place like uh i don't know
That was amazing. Like you, you opened my locked door so easily. I love that by this point, I'm not even thinking about like the lyrics and as far as who are they talking to. As far as like, if, if this was another group performing these lyrics, I could easily feel like maybe they're talking to a certain woman that is making them feel like an addict and it's a super toxic relationship, but I like it. And you can take the lyrics that way, but with all of the storylines, the, the, the storyline that we have kind of discovered with TXT, checking these lyrics out, I'm not even thinking about a romantic someone. I'm only thinking about like the storyline within like that magical place that almost like becomes hell for them and they need to escape it. Otherwise, they're going to kill themselves in the midst of all of this sugar rush and like uh, this addiction. This is incredible. <laughs> Wait, was was that it? Is that an eagle? That's... That looks like an eagle. Interesting. This is literally a fucking LSD tri trip. What the f This is a trance. This is incredible. Like the whole world is distorted basically. You know what, in a way, this kind of reminds me of a phrase of don't believe everything you see for even salt looks like sugar. Like the things that you feel like are going to be your escape route, whether it's the people or the places that you experience, you never really know what you're going to get. Life is like a box of chocolates, I guess, if, if we want to throw it back to Forrest Gump as well. But uh, this kind of, th this is absolutely uh, incredible and it sounds like they're they're landing back on their feet uh, with this levitation scene. And it seems like they're potentially realizing that this is not the place for them as we see all of them as a group with that, uh, can with that light and whatnot. And just seeing all of them kind of like str basically struggle like addicts. Like parts of this even remind me of like fucking basketball diaries for some reason with Leonardo DiCaprio. Uh, with some of the struggles that they experience throughout this addiction. Uh, this is really, really interesting. Let's let's take it back. I love the guitar here. It makes it even more trippy. This is pretty much the representation of what it's actually like to be on that place as you go through that addiction, you're drowning. That was really, really cool. It's actually really interesting in contrast with the scene of the levitation, but in reality you're drowning because this is not good for you, but you still want it because it feels good. The visuals here are crazy beautiful. This is one of the most uh, tastefully, most beautifully shot music videos I think I've, I've seen on the channel yet. And this feels like, hey, we're not addicts, we can stop anytime we want. 
But I don't know. There's something about it that tells me that. I don't know. This is amazing. I don't know. This song is incredibly beautiful. And I, I feel like maybe I should have touched more on some of the lyrics, maybe some of the visuals, but th this whole thing feels like a trip. Um, and, and it legitimately feels like you're on a high, you get dropped on your head as you have a realization, you have a relapse, you have, it, it's just absolutely beautiful. And again, I've never taken drugs in my life, but, uh, this song is probably one of the closest things to it. If I were, this is incredible. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know what else to say. Maybe I should have touched on some, some other visuals, some, some more lyrics and all that kind of stuff, but we have quite a bit of stuff coming. Uh, I have quite a bit of stuff coming my way with the album, which I will be checking out as well, but it's going to take a little bit of time before I get into that. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If I made any sense at all also like the, the the shots of them like in the in the dark clothes completely addicted and like the the set it almost looks like something from avatar like the the i don't know something about it maybe it's because of the blues and whatnot but they like it it almost feels like a it feels like pandora in a way um and just in gen in general like the symbolism of that of that island which looks nice and peaceful but at the same time there's darkness within it but is it the darkness of the island or the darkness of the guys themselves as well because they want to escape so badly from the visuals uh yeah it, it does seem like the this island does have something uh, a little bit uh dark about it and if you are not equipped with dealing with it you're gonna get addicted uh, so it's just kind of like the silent is, is exposing the darkest desires that you have and is turning them against you as you get addicted and you cannot escape. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm wondering about that ending a little bit, but, uh, all in all, this was absolutely incredible. And I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If I made any sense, let me know in the comment section down below and uh, I'll catch you all very, very soon for the album reaction. Not sure if I'll have to split it into a couple of uh, sections, but I'm very, very excited to check out the album. So I guess I'll see you soon, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel and check out the Patreon if you want to see some exclusive reactions while also support the production of these videos. All of the available reactions are listed in the tier. You don't have to sign up in order to see the list. But if you see something on that list that you like, consider subscribing and I'll catch you all in the next one.